who do we thank? No one other than our master, our savior, our God, our king of kings, whose name is? Yes, y'all sing with us, welcome.
Aren't you so thankful? You ought to be if you're a child of God, you are a child of love because everything he did for us on the cross was because of how much he loves us. That's why we can title this the way it is. We are, in fact, a child of his great love. Amen? I was walking the wayside Lost on a lonely road I was chasing the highlight Trying to satisfy my soul All the lies I believed in Left me crying like the rain Then I saw lightning from heaven And I'm never sing loud in church, right? Because there's something to get excited about when it's all about Jesus. Amen? That's what this next song is titled. It's called My Jesus. I think we all know this. Um, but I hope if, if this is going to be the first time that you're about to hear this song, that uh, there's only one who makes a way for you when maybe there is no way. 
okay? And there's one and only one that rises up from that empty grave that we've already talked about, okay? And there's no sinner that he can't save. So no matter what we've done or what we will do, praise God for his forgiveness, his love, his mercy, his grace, most of all, his salvation. That is my Jesus. I pray that he is your Jesus as well. Are you past the point of weary? Is your burden weighing heavy? Is it all too much to carry? Let me tell you about my Jesus. Do you feel that empty fear? Cause shame's done all its sting. You're desperate. up. He makes a way where there ain't no way. I kept saying grave. But boy, that's why we can sing this next song. 
This is my song indeed because he did make a way where there isn't or wasn't a way. I know there wasn't a way for me without him providing that, right? So that's why we can sing this with such, such confidence that this is my song because he is our rock. In him alone, he is our solid ground. He is our, as this song says, our amazing grace. How sweet that sound. We go back to thinking about what was brought from what was an old hymn that we used to sing growing up if you grew up in church. And that's where this song came from. Y'all know this. Y'all sing this with us. This is my song. And because he lives, that's why I'm able to sing today.
because he lives, you don't have to be a slave any longer to fear, right? No matter what, because you are a child. And I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. No, I'm no longer a slave to fear. Cause I
Father, thank you. <laughs> because of who you are, we ain't got to be scared anymore. We don't have to be scared of whatever this lying devil has cooked up to try to take us out any longer. We don't have to believe the lies anymore that we got to have this or we got to have that or we got to do this or do that. We don't have to believe that anymore. We don't have to believe it when the devil lies and says, hey, <laughs> you can't breathe. We don't have to believe the lies that he says, you know, because of our past, we won't ever be able to mount anything. We'll never be able to be pleasing to the Lord. Because we, we're ruined. That's a lie. So, Lord, I thank you for setting us free. I can't imagine you hanging on that cross after being beaten beyond human resemblance then you hung for us. And as you look down upon the people that put you there, which would have been every single one of us in this room because of our sin, all you could say was, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. As you sat there and you struggled to breathe, you thought of us, stayed on the cross, died for us. Jesus, because of you, we can have life and freedom, forgiveness and salvation. So with everything in us as a church today, we say, thank you, Jesus. And Lord, give us that same passion to share that with our friends and our family. Folks, we run into. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray today that you give us ears to hear what you want to say to us individually. Don't let us walk out of here the same. Thank you, Lord, that we could gather. Lord, I pray you move me out of the way. It's got to be all about you. And we pray this in Jesus' name. And the church said, Amen. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know about y'all, but I didn't want to stop. Anybody bring a Bible? Come on. Being in friendship without a Bible is like being on I-20 without a car. And if you brought a Bible you can't see, it'd be like you're on a moped. You know. Anybody still got a moped? We'll pray for you. <laughs> Let's go to the book of Jonah. How about the book of Jonah? Anybody ever heard about the book of Jonah? We was in the book of Jonah Wednesday night, and uh, Lord, I felt like the Lord was telling me, we ain't done. I need to share some of this for Sunday morning. So what you didn't hear on Wednesday, you, you're going to hear today. But if you was here on Wednesday, you might hear something you heard. But does it matter? No. Okay. <laughs> if the Lord said do it, we're going to do it, right? Let's get into it. So the book of Jonah now, if you have trouble finding the book of Jonah, please go to your table of contents. Because it ain't like one of them that you're just going to throw open and find. It ain't like last week. You don't look for the easy E. <laughs> you look for the J-O-N on your little tabs, you know what I'm saying? The J-O-N, the Jonah, the Jonah, the Jonah. 
Man, y'all ready? We, we just got to jump right in. There's so much here. Can y'all hear me all right? Okay. Think about this. Put your, put your life in this story. It says the word of the Lord. You got to realize Jonah's some kind of preacher, right? He's a prophet. He's an Old, Old Testament prophet of God, but he'd be like a preacher. So it says the word of the Lord came to Jonah, the son of Amity. Amittai, which his name actually means truth, because you could say Jonah's daddy was truth. And he said, arise, God told him to arise, get up from what you're doing and go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry out against it. For their wickedness had come up before them. They was acting crazy. They didn't believe in God and they was acting a fool. But Jonah arose to flee. <laughs> you see the butt there, right? He arose to flee from Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Does that sound loud? It's this loud up here. Uh, okay. The devil trying to mess me up. Anyway, here we go. Think about what just happened right here. Now, you can put yourself in this and, 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 and however you want to see it. But I guarantee you at some point in your life, the Lord has asked you to do something before. Has God ever laid it on your heart? But listen to me, though. Has he ever laid it on your heart to do something that was uncomfortable? To do something that, that mm, this is going to get me out of my comfort zone, and I don't know about this. Anybody know what I'm talking about? And what, what was that? I mean, it may have been to share your testimony. Man, tell somebody. Tell somebody what Jesus has done in your life. Maybe it was that. Maybe, maybe it was on conflict. Maybe, maybe God has asked you to give to somebody or something like that or help somebody, serve somebody, you know, lead somebody. Maybe, somebody, maybe God is, 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 is impressing on your heart that maybe you need to be a, 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 a te teach up in here. You know what I'm saying? Be a leader, right? Or let's get a little heavier. Maybe, 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 just maybe God's asking you to forgive somebody. Oh, no, Brother Scott, you don't know. They, they done done me so wrong. What's up? God has done you so wrong. They, 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 they've done you so wrong, but God says, no, 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 no. Mm-mm, go for them. You say, why, God? Do you know what I've done for you? Do you realize?